this is Jessica from Ithra at Ithra headquarters in Ketchum, Idaho. Today we're having a really fun test today between the dot and our very own Ithra Shield 4.0. Today we're going to put it inside this clear gas chamber, introduce gas, and see how they react. Both are brand new out of the box. I wonder what's going to happen. Stay tuned. So this dot we picked up just at the local pilot shop and I'll give you a view here standard, normal, kind of this beige color, exposed to carbon dioxide, it turns dark or black. And here's a few more details about how the dot works. Now, the Ithra Shield 4.0 works with your ISO with a free app called Ithra Connect. This is a highly sensitive carbon monoxide detector. It'll detect one parts per million. Here on the hypoxy of flight display, it'll give you real-time readout along with the history of your carbon monoxide levels. All right. Let's see here. Open up the box. There it is. Fresh out of the box, brand new. There's the on switch. I've already conveniently opened my Ithra Connect app free on the ISO store. And I'm gonna turn it on and let it pair. Ithra Shield connected. Super fast connection. It's immediately connected and it currently obviously is reading zero parts per million of carbon monoxide. because There's no carbon monoxide here inside the lab. Okay, so next, let's open the dot. Okay, so cutting out the dot for the package. Okay, I'm just gonna slide it out now. Okay, there it is, as you can see. Fresh out of the package. All right, so these are gonna be our two testers today. Okay, so let's put these guys in the chamber. As you can see, we have a clear carbon monoxide chamber here so that you can view real-time changes of both the devices. First, let's put the dot in. I have a small stand in here so that it'll make it easier for you to see the reaction of the dot. And I'll put the Ithra Shield 4.0 right next to it. Okay, we have our detectors inside the chamber, and we're going to be using 20 parts per million of calibrated gas. Most pilots are experiencing 10 to 20 parts per million, million during taxi, run up, take off, and climb out, which is why we're going to use 20 parts per million. So let's get our test started. Okay, so now we're going to release the 20 parts per million into the chamber, and you might hear a hissing sound as it's going in. And I want us to keep our eye on the dot, the 4.0, and the ISO, the hypoxia of flight display. So you can actually see real-time readings of the carbon dioxide. Here we go. Okay, here's the gas going into the chamber. Carbon monoxide detected above two parts per million. As you can tell now, Ithra Shield 4.0 is starting to read four parts per million. The blue light is glowing on the detector, indicating it's below 10 parts per million. The dot is still the normal indication color. We've reached 13 parts per million. Carbon monoxide detected above 10 parts per million. As you can see, the Ithra Shield 4.0 is now an amber color, indicating that carbon monoxide is above 10 parts per million. The dot is still normal. So 
about four minutes in and I don't see anything happening on the dot. Still that very orange, normal color. Ether Shield now is at 19 parts per million of carbon dioxide. Flashing amber. 20 parts per million. Carbon monoxide detected about 19 parts per million. See, we're getting close to 10 minutes. Let's see if we have any reaction from the dot during that time. Trying to see if there's any coloration changes. Don't really see much. It's nothing, it's still completely normal, completely plain. You can see on your screen. I can shield very reliably. Leaking two amber flashes. Beautiful 20 parts per million on the hypoxia flight display, keeping me informed. Still nothing from the dot. So I think I'm just going to let this run here for you and you guys can get an idea and we can check back. Uh, I'll grab a coffee over at Lizzie's and maybe another 5-10 minutes I'll check and see if the dot has any reaction. All right, be right back. Hey, here with Jim and Zoo at Ithra. Hi! Just out for a stroll while the carbon monoxide detectors are going to a test. Heading to Lizzie's. The dot hadn't reacted, it had been 20 minutes. I decided it was time for a coffee. We'll check back after. Hey guys, fresh back in from Lizzie's. We had a great cup of coffee and conversation and we've come back to check on our two detectors. It's been almost an hour since we started the test and as I can easily see, the Ether Shield 4.0 is reading a beautiful 20 parts per million, showing our nice yellow flashes or amber flashes and the dot. I'm just gonna get a little closer just to make sure. It looks exactly the same. I can't believe in an hour of being exposed to 20 parts per million of carbon monoxide and not a change, not a discoloration. Everything is normal by the dot. All right, guys. Well, I don't know if we can sit around all day waiting for the dot to actually react. So I think we're going to have to end this test after about an hour and um, maybe check back another time with another test between the Ithra Shield and the dot. Stay tuned and thanks for joining us here at Ithra and Ketchum, Idaho. Hey guys, one more thing. I wanted to make sure that you understood that when uh, carbon monoxide is removed from the area or um, goes down to zero, that our device will actually zip down to zero real-time readings. So what we'll do is that we'll open the chamber and we'll have this ventilation system here suck the carbon monoxide out so it's safe for me while I'm sitting here. And you can watch on our screen as the, the numbers go from 0, 20 to 0. So let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to unlock the box where all the carbon monoxide has been stored for the last hour. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in the vent. Okay, let's watch. We don't have to worry about the dot doing anything because it never changed anyway, but <laughs> the shield is going to, as you can see, it's already starting to drop the numbers as the carbon monoxide is moving outside of the chamber. Quickly moving down. Down to 14 now, just a few seconds in. 
And you'll see too that the flashes will change. One amber flash, because it's only above 10, not 20. Down to 11. All right, we're below 10 parts per million. So we are now at blue, beautiful eye for blue, seven parts per million. We got a nice blue flash letting you know you're below 10 parts per million of carbon monoxide. Down to three. And almost there to zero. Zero. One minute. We went from 20 to zero parts per million as the gases left the chamber. So there you have it. When you're exposed to the carbon monoxide, IPA is going to give you accurate readings. And when you're in the clear and the carbon monoxide has left the area, whether it's through opening the vents or leveling out, the carbon monoxide readings are going to go to zero if that's what's happening inside your craft. So thanks again for joining us. I'll see you next time. Okay, guys, one second. Before I leave, I forgot to show you our Ether Shield EX 2.0. Look at this. So tiny. It's like almost three of them make the size of the iPhone. So this here is for our experimental aircraft. It's an analog. Three little wires, easy install. It also works with our app. So you install behind the panel and you'll be able to get readings just like this on your ISO device. Please visit our shop at www.itheraviation.com. See you next time.